It's been 50 years since Bailey first picked up a camera. In all that time, he helped to change the way of seeing fashion without falling out of it. He shook things up with a glint in his eye. Taken in 1967 by friend and contemporary Terry O'Neill, the Bailey caught here is in his prime, working on set, directing the model's pose. Bailey is always working, but these days, a paintbrush or clay is interchangeable with a camera. I was invited to Bailey's creative hub, both his family home and art studio in the English countryside. Did you always feel that way? Did you always believe in what Well, you no, I was always told I was an idiot. So I thought, oh, if I'm an idiot, I ignore what they want and do what I want. So, so some people, they probably would have killed off being told you're an idiot by your teachers every day. Mm. In fact, it was worse than that. I used to get caned sometimes for not being able to spell. But uh, I've made up for it since. Yeah, I yeah. have. It's like uh, journalists used to call photographers monkeys. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, but this one they didn't realise was going to turn into King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> On the climb to the top, the blonde in Bailey's clutches was Jean Shrimpton. Together, photographer and muse brought sex to the pages of Vogue magazine. The pictures were a breath of fresh air. Lots of people who did what I did did fashion photography because in the 60s it was a way of being creative and getting some money. You know, photographers weren't treated very well in those days. I mean, it's an easy job to do, it's a bit like hairdressing if you're not careful. But because it's so easy, it's hard to go that extra, it's so cliche, but that extra mile yeah. or extra stop, <laughs> extra <F> stop. <laughs> Bailey became master of the portrait. His subjects were stars on the rise, from the criminal underworld, notorious London gangsters, the Cray brothers, to heavenly creatures like French actress Catherine Deneuve. Portrait is about the person. It's about, kind of about us meeting, isn't it? And when I photograph somebody, I sort of fall in love with them for when I'm with them. And they become the center for that brief moment. Everyone who was going to be anyone stepped in front of Bailey's lens. He captured the faces that shaped the 60s and would influence the artists that follow. We were all friends before we became famous, Mick and Jean. Everything's time and place. Do you prefer black and white or color? I prefer black and white because Black and white's the instant message. When you look at colour, you look at warning things. You know, if a bird sees a green berry, he doesn't eat it. If he sees a red berry, he eats it. It's the same with colour in, in painting or photography because you look at something and you see the price. You look at you and you see blue. Mm. But if it's black and white, I see you straight away. Colour deflects. Colour, colour's there to warn you not to touch it. <laughs> 